Hey, Boaz here with a Pedal Powered Talk Show. We're here at Memorial Coliseum to chat with Portland Winterhawks player Keone Teixeira. Let's go, Phil. The Pedal Powered Talk Show is a talk show on a bike, and you're watching it now. So when did you first start skating? I started skating uh, when I was around four years old. I started off in roller hockey since I was from California. So uh -huh. um, I started ice skating when I turned six. I got some uh, skating lessons and then joined the team and loved it. So were your parents into it or how did you get into it? Yeah, my uh, neighbors were from Toronto and so was my mom. So she grew up kind of around hockey and I got just thrown into the mix of things and I loved it. Do you remember the first time you ever scored a goal? Yep, it was uh, with a teddy bear toss in my first year when I was 16. Um, I, it was actually on this rink, came down the ice right here, and it went posted in, and oh, 13,000 teddy bears came down. It was pretty awesome. Were you just freaking out? Yeah, I was. <laughs> it, 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 I didn't know what to do. I was kind of in shock. Your family's in California, yeah. and so how does it work? You come up here, and then you get assigned to a host family? Yep, we'll be placed in a host family, which is probably the best fit for us. And uh, we have a couple of roommates. My first two years, we had four. If we'd have a day off the next day, we'd stay up playing Xbox all night long and just watching movies and stuff like that. So it, it was pretty fun being uh, away from home, but it made the transition easier because we had you know four guys in the house and you kind of just become a big family. I hear there's some pranksters on the team and some yeah. people say, some people might say that you're sort of the lead prankster maybe. Yeah, I would say me or, me or Keegan are the, the lead pranksters who are always messing around in the locker room and off the ice on the bus and the hotels, everything like that. I think the, the best one that I remember was when I was 15 years old. I was on the internet looking up some pranks to pull and I uh, ended up taping a cup to the door, above the door, and had like a string so when you open the door the cup would lean forward and fall. So. The, my roommates were walking downstairs and I had a little camera under the door. Oh wow, you were so, prepared. Yeah, I was, I was across, so there's a little camera under the door. When I opened it, it fell over and he had no idea how it came down or who did it, so he, he was pretty pissed off about it. But. <laughs> Do you have any pre or post game rituals? I have a lot of pre-game rituals. Uh, I have this certain wall that I'll touch every time I go into, into the locker room and leave the locker room and have to tie my skates a certain way every time they have to be perfect. So if they're not right, I have to undo the whole thing. And if a stick has to be taped a certain way and has to feel just right. So just little things like that. Once you do a, a ritual and you're, you're playing well, you just want to keep doing that same ritual as long as you can. And then you just keep adding more things to it. Are you ready for a question from the Ask-O-Matic, our sure. automatic question asking device? Yep. What does your favorite pair of socks look like? Um, they would have to be the low ankle van socks, the mm -hmm. no-show ones, because uh, a lot of shoes that I wear are like Nike and Converse and stuff, and I don't like to have my socks showing, so it would probably be those. <laughs> gotcha. Man, Keone, thanks so much for chatting. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for having me. I was hoping you were going to shake my hand with a big glove. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> now click on the bike to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss an episode. Or click on that red box to watch another episode right now. Have you ever gotten in trouble? Um, I have gotten in trouble a couple times. I uh, accidentally clogged the toilet a few too many times. And, <laughs> uh, you know, broke a couple things, but it, it happens. It's part of growing up. It happens to all of us.